Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to my first Arc Survival Evolved video. If you guys didn't know, transfers to Crystal Arms opened up last week on console. And I've been noticing a stink lack of cementing paste. So in this video, I'll show you guys an in-depth way, an in-depth in every way to get cementing paste on the Crystal Arms map. So guys, uh, as you can see, this is our first way of getting the... Um, Cementing so paste, or this is actually cementing paste, it's um, chitin or uh, what, chitin, however you want to say it. Basically, if you come to the savannah, you can't actually see it on my map because I now really don't have the uh, cross name, it's at 54 lat and 43 long there, all over the place, big things like this. Um, these little ant hills, as you go close to them, a load of um, drones and soldiers will come out and attack you, you can kill those and get a little bit of uh, chitin, but if you come up with the dodic, it's where you get the real stuff. You get like 150 plus things, so this is on um, official settings with a um, with a level um, 55 dodic. You can see the stats there, not the best dodic ever, but yeah, it's getting about 150 shit and per swing. Absolutely crazy, you can see you've got that in a matter of seconds. But yeah, if you just go around, kill, kill all the soldiers off first, go around with the dodic. Oh, yeah, you see a couple more spawning there as I get close to some of the newer ones. But yeah, just go around with Dodic, you'll get absolutely tons of chitin. And then you just got to go back to your base. Um, so, anyway, guys, once you um, have got your uh, kitten, chitin sorry, and your stone, you want to come back to your house with, where you've got the chemistry bench. Um, or a mortar and pestle works perfectly fine, but personally, I do chemistry bench because it is much easier. And then you just want to create as much cementing paste as you can. You can see it's uh, all crafting in here right now. We'll see how much we get after it. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, you get quite a decent amount. However, this is quite a grindy method. So if you guys want to do this, um, <laughs> by all means do it. But if you stick around later into the video, there are going to be much easier ways to get cementing paste. Anyway, guys, so this is going to be our second way of getting cement paste. Well in this case actually it's going to be Akatina paste. So um as you can see here there is an Akatina I'm gonna show you how to tame them and everything. I uh you normally find them around here so about the same place as last time so you got um fifty two lat uh by forty three uh forty two point eight lat by forty three point eight long. Um you can also find them oh that's not good. You can also find them uh on the other side of the river down over there in that kind of swampy bit. But um yeah, this is where I found mine. So once you've um, found yours, you want to uh, go up to it and you're going to uh, knock it out. You see, I'm using <laughs> um, a long neck rifle and shock and track guards, which just went down in one. You want to make sure you don't hit it on this um, shell, otherwise it's going to take a couple more because it takes reduced torpor. Anyway, so um, once you've knocked track team out, you want to go ahead and put some sweet vegetable cakes in its inventory. The same thing used to tame the overses. Anyway guys, once you've got your um, Akatina up, you want to just, basically you want to uh, encumber, I don't have to encumber it now, but you want to put a load of stone in its inventory and it will, uh, over time, start to passively um, produce Akatina paste as well as um, organic polymer. We'll leave a bit to see if it does any, but um, the downside to this is it can only hold 100 Akatina paste at a time, so you kind of have to be on it. It also drops some, um, just like... It will just drop it, kind of like Gatch does with its crystals. Um, but you have to be there to pick that up, obviously. Um, another downside to this, to the Akatina, is the fact that it only eats sweet vegetable cakes. So if you're going to be wanting to tame one of these and keep it alive for any of this amount of time, you're going to have to have a good access to honey, which on crystals is um, pretty easy over... Sorry, in that side of the map there is the... Um, Honey Cave, I have a video coming out on that soon, the best way to um, farm and harvest that if you're interested. But yeah, uh, make sure you've got a good supply of um, sweet veggie cakes if you want to tame these. I personally would not uh, recommend taming one of these, but I thought I'd put it in the video anyway. I would uh, say it's much more efficient to uh, do some of the uh, later methods, or even the uh, method before with the uh, mole, sorry, not the mole hills, the uh, ant hills and the... Uh, Crafting it into um, cementing paste with stone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it's just, I don't get it, because some things you can spawn in, right? Like, any guns or shit. But you can't spawn in, like, like uh, consumables, like gasoline. Or, um, you can't spawn in sweet veggie cake, so I had to, like, knock it out, then cut, and then <laughs> cut back to it being awake. <laughs> but tamed. So for this um this one it basically goes hand in hand with the first one so I'm gonna link it with that one but it is um basically just another way to get uh chitin or chitin or whatever you wanna call it. And you wanna come over to these floating islands here. I'm just gonna fly off a bit so you can see which one it is. I'm gonna go big to that big red crystal and look around at these ponds and you'll find these crabs here. So the one I found here is at oh sorry, that went a bit too fast. The one I found here is a, a 52 uh, lat and 78.4 long. Anyway, so um, as soon as you found one, oh, what you want to do is you want to jump on something like a Rex. Uh, you also need a chainsaw for this, by the way, if I, um, as I didn't say that a minute ago, but you want to jump on something like a Rex. The water isn't, shouldn't be too deep here. I just want to go kill them. They should be pretty easy to kill. It's going to be around here. It's like a Sarko, maybe. Yeah, you just want to Oh, a few piranhas, let me deal with them quickly. But yeah, once you have killed the, um... Once you have killed the Karakinos, all you need to do is just go to its body. Um, you preferably want it to not be in the water. Oh, one last piranha on my Rex. Also, make sure you don't eat the uh, body of the Karakinos with the Rex, because you will not get anywhere near as much chitin. Uh, chitin, sorry. <laughs> um, during this method, you also get quite a bit of organic polymer. Um, I'm struggling to get on this exam. arm. There we go. Once you're on it, you just want to uh, grab your chainsaw and just go to town on the thing so you get loads of organic polymer but also loads of chitin see i got 99 organic polymer and 374 chitin if you can just do that and uh, fly around maybe cryopox cryopod or rex or you can just walk around there's a few I know there's a few ponds in the stream oh a bit deep for the rex there but yeah 
just look around there should be a couple crabs around here you can kill maybe get around a thousand uh chitin before you head home and then um you can turn that very easily into some mending paste as i showed you just a minute ago anyway guys as we are on our way over to see the um third and final look um sorry way to get um cementing paste on the crystal isles map uh make sure to look at the poll in the top right hand corner and um vote on which video you'd like to see next you'd like to see the easiest way to tame a griffin trust me you if you listen to what i say you'll tame it 100 times out of 100 with minimal uh resources required or would you like to see that video on the um honey cave on crystal isles to show you the best way to get um honey and also quite a lot of organic polymer honestly so anyway guys here we are at the third and final um location to get cementing paste on the um crystal isles map if you made it this far into the video make sure to like and subscribe the video to show support to the channel anyway this is uh as you may know from as you probably do know from a lot of other maps beaver dams beaver dams are a great way to get um <laughs> to get cementing paste is it just spawns and naturally don't have to do any work just go up to it take it and run like hell so those beavers don't get you because if you're not on a mount they can mess you up especially if you don't have any type of weapon so yeah if you come to this location it is a uh, um as you can see now it's a 50 50 basically it's just the other side of, um from where i tamed uh the akatina you can also find them here along this bit but yeah, if you just um kind of look up and down this river, you should be able to find one. I'm going to uh, skip to a few other locations for beaver dams, just so that you guys uh, can definitely tame some. Uh, not tame some, obviously if you want to tame beavers you can, they are a great way to get wood. As well as mammoths in the new update, which have got the um, trumpet effect, which debuffs your enemies, and the war drum effect, which you need a second person to do, which will buff your allies. Uh, but yeah, if you just go up and down this um, kind of swampy area, you should be able to find a few beaver dams. Not many, though. It's one of the rarer spawns on the map. Anyway, we're going to jump ahead to uh, beaver dam location number two. So here we are, guys, at beaver dam location number two. As you can see, it's just over the hill from that one, and its coordinates are... If it wants to show me, it will be 42.6 latitude and 40.8 longitude. You just need to come down to this river, uh, this lake here, sorry, and just search around the edges for uh, some giant beaver dams and hopefully bag yourself some cementing paste and possibly even some silica pearls. If you can't find any here, you should just be able to scoot down this little uh, gap in the wall here. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> And uh, there will also be some around this part and down in these bits. But it does stop around here. Uh, so now we're going to move on to the third and final location for beaver dams that I've so far found on the Crystal Isles map. So here we are at the third and final location for beaver dams on the Crystal Isles map. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like on the video. But um, as you can see, we're at 38.2 lat and 49.2 longitude. You'll start, you'll see this massive ice um, waterfall mountain, whatever thing you want to call it, and you just want to go down here. Obviously, you don't have to use a text gif, it just helps if you have one. If you just search on this river, you see we've got our beaver there, um, and they will slowly start to construct their beaver dams. There's quite a few here. I think this is where I find most of the beaver dams along with spot one uh spot two is a bit of a rarer occasion for me but yeah you just want to go all the way down this river um and you should find quite a few beaver dams and get yourself enough cp also though on this spot you have to be careful uh because there is a ut spawn obviously they are very strong uts they can spawn in um <laughs> you see there's quite a few of them here you can spawn in uh three carnos with them and give them buffs but yeah, um, that's been this video. If you guys enjoyed it, um, make sure to drop a like and, a, and maybe a subscribe on the channel. Um, I'll catch you next, next time. Peace.